welcome back to another video. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Me is so quick with the uploads. Intro's over. Subscribe before you go. Welcome back, it's me is so quick. And in today's video, I'm gonna be taking these knockoff black bands, these slip-ons, and I'm gonna be customizing them. So the first thing that I do is I go ahead and stuff the shoe so that way I have like a flatter surface to work on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my red vinyl tape and I'm gonna tape off the sole of the shoe. A lot of times I don't really have to do this, but I feel like it'll just help me be able to work quicker so I don't have to worry about doing and clean up later if you never use vinyl tape I prefer it just because it's super flexible so especially it's great to go around curves and you don't have to keep tearing off pieces you can kind of do it all in one strip all right so now that I've got everything taped up um, you can see I ran out of red vinyl and I went to my white vinyl tape but now that I've got it all taped up the next thing that I need to do is make sure that my canvas is clean so since these are canvas shoes it did have like a lot of lint on it and you don't want to do that you don't want to start painting when there's a bunch of lint on there because it'll just get caught up in the paint so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this nail brush and I'm gonna brush down the shoe um, and just try to get as much of that lint off as I can and then after that I pick up some scotch tape and then I usually just stick it down on the shoe and pull it up really quick and pull up whatever um, lint might still be left on the shoe once all that's good, we are ready to start customizing this shoe. And I'm excited because for this shoe, I wanted to do a Halloween movie horror theme. So I found this picture just, you know, Google image search, trying to find as many horror movie characters as I could, and I'm going to put them on the shoe. So I grabbed this yellow transfer paper, um, like a waxy side, that's the side that you want to like put down on the shoe. And then all I do is just cut out the image that I plan on using, I tape it to this transfer paper, and then I lay the transfer paper directly on the shoe, and I'm just going to outline um, the characters that I want to do. Um, I probably could have went in with a white wax pencil and that would have made the most sense. Matter of fact, I'm going to suggest you use a white wax pencil or heck even some chalk because the yellow didn't really show up that great on this black and you know sometimes it transfers over where you don't want it. But if you're just looking to try to do some easy outlines, I would definitely suggest that you use transfer paper or wax pencils. But once I've got that down, I'm just going ahead and grabbing this ballpoint pen and I'm starting to outline the sketch of Michael Myers. Once I've sketched it out, as you can see, it's just yellow and it shows up. And while I would suggest that you use the wax pencils because half of these shapes disappeared as I was just working on the first one. So I would just do a little bit at a time. So as I get started, I'm going to be using my Angelus paints. I'm using flat white. I'm going to be using some GAC 900 to create a fabric medium, as well as some duller just to reduce that shine. And I'm going to go ahead and lay down a base layer of white so that way I can then start blending my other colors on top. So as you can see, I've got all the white and now I'm going in with like a beige that I mix with just brown and some white and just trying to do some shading. Once the shading is done, I'm taking some Angelus Flat Black um, and I'm just going to go in and do some details on the eyes and the hair. And just so you know, I play with colors a bunch, mixing colors back and forth. So I use several different colors over and over and mix and match and that gave me the best skin tone. And after a lot of time, this is what Michael Myers looked like. I think it looks really, really well. So that's one down and about 20 more characters to go. So this next creature was kind of like some alien uh, creature that I was trying to do. And I used a bunch of different reds because I really want this shoe to be like real dark and moody. Um, and then just constantly just blending colors. You know, I would do something and then... I didn't like it or one color was showing up too much I just went right back into my palette and I just kind of went over it so I actually went over this character several times and I did learn something in the process that it's probably going to be better to try to outline what you're doing in black um, just so that you can actually see a lot of those details that I realized like I couldn't really make out unless I got really close to the shoe 
But here you can see after some time what that character ended up looking like. So next I'm going to go ahead and continue on and doing this Wolfman as well as um, however many characters I can get. And after some time this is what the top is looking like. So you can see my wolf creature. You can also see um, Lord knows there's so many horror movie characters I can't even remember this guy's name but you can see him over here on the left side and then I also went in and I just tried to do like a murky kind of background with gradually trying to make it dark with a lot of yeah, uh, a lot of white and pink and reds and browns and black and then really trying to set the tone so it's off to a really good start and I must say this project already is about two hours almost or an hour and a half into this so this one definitely took a lot of time so my next step was just trying to get pictures of the next characters that I want to do and I did the same thing I just took my transfer paper and I tried to find the general outline I laid down my white base and then I started painting uh, my actual characters onto the shoe and then sometimes you'd actually have to paint over the characters that I did before just to try to blend them all in so here you can see that I tried to switch up my angle hopefully this is allows you guys to better see but here we have um, some killer clowns not Pennywise okay I I'll probably do Pennywise on the other shoe but here I am as you can just see the different steps that I go through constantly like trial and error painting not liking it going back over blotting it out and then you know repainting and this is also just due to the fact like I said that I only used the transfer paper just to do a general outline and the rest inside of the painting was pretty much just free handed by looking at the picture now I haven't shown it before but know that you are going to have to heat set this especially that it has that GAC 900 fabric medium you are definitely going to need to heat set it for at least a couple minutes at a high temperature once I've done the heat setting I'm just going to continue on adding these characters from our scream ghost as you can see me laying down and this by far was thankfully the easiest one that I did and for this screen goes, all I really did was just take some white with a little bit of beige and try to mix it in with some highlights and some shadowing. And then, of course, you're going to finish it all off with just taking some black to do the eyes and the mouth. And then finishing it off with the hood. And I even added the knife that he uses to stab people. So there it is with our scream mask. And as you can see, um, instead of just leaving this, the figures like a flat color, I always go back in and try to add some highlights. I just feel that it makes it look a lot more realistic um, when I do it that way as opposed to looking cartoonish if I leave it all just one flat color. So I also went ahead and did a Hannibal Lecter. He did kind of come out cartoonish. This is because I really just kind of freehanded this whole thing. And um, that'll have to be something. I, I couldn't really get the whole dimensions of the face with the whole mask covering it up. So he does look a little bit cartoonish, but enough to be able to tell who he is with his full mask on as well as his prison jumpsuit and I even stuck a little gremlin in there how many of you guys remember the movie gremlins I've seen it so many times I technically I've seen like all of these movies um hello Clarice all right please let me know in the comments like how of many of these characters do you remember seeing those movies did any of these movies actually scare you I was actually a child when all these movies came out but I am definitely a horror fan and addicted to trying to be scared so the last character that I wanted to go ahead and put on here was of course Jigsaw Jigsaw had to be the only movie that actually made me cringe a little bit I believe it was Saw 2 where the person just fell into a tub of needles that was the most painful thing for me to ever watch and it still gives me goosebumps to this day and after all of the detail work this is what the shoe looks like um, 
I didn't show it, but off camera, I went ahead and I sprayed it with my rejuvenator water and stain repellent, and that's just going to help protect the barrier as well as you can always use a, a finisher if you want a shiny finisher you can definitely use the ones from Angelus they have an acrylic finisher and a matte finisher which is also still pretty shiny or you can always go in with some Krylon matte spray to try to get the matte finish so in the end I'm gonna go ahead and start ripping off this tape which comes off super super easy that's another reason why I like to use this vinyl tape and you guys can go ahead and see that crisp line and I like to think this is like the most satisfying part of just peeling off the tape there we have it that is the shoe now with all of the tape off and you can clearly see all of the characters that I got on here I've got a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten characters that I got on this shoe so it looks like I'm gonna really meet my goal of trying to do 20 um, I don't want this video to be terribly long so I'm just gonna do the second shoe in another video and let you guys see how I do that one in a part two and I'll change it up a little bit since this one is like a super dark theme I'll see if I can get some other characters and maybe some more mystical colors and yeah but anyway I like to thank you guys so much for tuning in I am really having like so much fun doing this um, as I said I just bought some cheap little knockoff vans because I didn't know if this was even going to turn out good with me trying to do more lifelike characters as opposed to cartoons which are a little bit easier to show up but I'm definitely happy with these results and um, yeah I'm excited so make sure that you check in um, in the next couple days I'll put up part two to show what characters I do on the other shoe and by all means if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button and feel free to subscribe to watch more of my content I appreciate all of you guys for tuning in and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day all right bye